you got a girl Yeah, you want me, yeah, you want me when you got a girl Feeling this backless, I'm doing this selfish Knowing I'm desperate, getting on it and falling all over love Like do it till it's last Thinking of the bad girl of the old life Like is you coming home, is you ever heard? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Daquan. If you don't know me, then you need to go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can get to know me. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So welcome back to part two of this video. So in part one, which I'm going to have it linked somewhere up here or maybe down below in the description box, whichever, um, you have to check that video out first before you look at this video, how I get it to look just like this. So definitely go check that video out first and then come back to this video. But welcome to part two. This is going to be showing you how I style this hair. And let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So the first thing that I'm going to use, because like I mentioned in my last video, this does not completely dry for me. So what I would have to do is go in with a hand blow dryer. And this is so, so old. Again, I'm pretty sure I got it from the beauty supply store. Um, but this is the Hot and Hotter Professional. Um, it's, it is a blow dryer, hand blow dryer, and it comes with um, comb attachments. But I'm not going to be using comb attachments because one, they broke. And then two, I just use a comb and just blow dry like this. The second thing that I'm going to be using is something that my stylist gave me, which is the It's Natural Natural Oil. It's increased sheen, manageability, infused with argan oil and a hot oil treatment. As you can see here. Any oil will work, guys, I promise. So, or I think any oil will work. Um, whatever oil works best for your hair will work, okay? To be going in with the Ever Straight Brazilian Keratin Therapy Flat Iron Spray. Spray is by OGX. Oh my God, y'all. I am not going to lie. I love this spray. Before I even got my hair um cut before i even got my hair relaxed like whenever i was wearing wigs this spray is the truth as you can see look how it is like it's not supposed to be that way like i'd be i'd be using this all on my hair like this spray is the truth it really gets your hair shiny and flat like not flat shiny and also like smooth like literally it gets it smooth and shiny and straight but so the next thing that I may use um, is the design essential sleek max edge control it is maximum hold so I may use this it just really really depends um, just depends on how everything is looking once I finish I am going to be going in with the same combs from the last video. If you have not watched that video, it will be up here somewhere and also it will be in the description box. Make sure you check that out just to see how I got this process here. So I almost forgot the most important part. I am also going to be using this flat iron. Um, it is a Baby Bliss Pro flat iron that I got from Ulta. I know in my last video I said that this was like a one inch. I think this is a half inch. And for my top, I am going to be using this flat iron, which is the Remington flat iron. I'm not exactly sure um, the name of this flat iron because I've had it so long. One of the things I like about this flat iron is that it swivels. It's perfect for just you know all this whenever you need it so i'm going to go in with these two flat irons here i'm gonna go in is with the oil i'm not gonna take a lot but i am still gonna take a good amount and I'm gonna, as I mentioned, you want to just pat it on your hair. You can rub it down the back, especially if there's no waves back there. But you do want to pat it on the side of your hair. So I am gonna take a little clip and then I'm gonna just clip this area up because I'm not um, worried about it right now. That was gonna be the very last thing that I do. I am then going to take the comb and I'm going to comb out my mold. This is probably going to be one of the hardest part for y'all to see the back and how I do the back. Um, I am gonna just be honest with you. I don't worry really. I worry about the back, but I just take little sections and I just go bump over it. And then any little sections that needs to be fixed, I go in the mirror, like I look into the mirror with this mirror and I would just like bump any little sections that needs to be fixed. 
So it is going to be hard for me to show you this, um, but I am just going to try the best of my ability. <laughs> Into like a little curl and then bam and then while it's still hot you want to press the curl to your face or to your head but you just do that all around part a piece of hair comb it take your flat iron push it pu push it out and then twirl your wrist And then it creates a curl for you. done this the like the back and I am going to finish it later um, just a little bit later I am now just gonna get into the sides here um, you don't really want to disturb the mold that you have here but you do want it to be soft so I am going to go in and I'm gonna take a little bit up still going to press my flat iron over it doing my wrist going back that way and it's still like once you comb it while it's hot it still lays the way that you want it to lay just press it that way I'm gonna comb it take my bigger flat iron because like I stated I still want curls but I want it to be looser so I'm gonna start at the root and then just still twist the wrist so it's still gonna give me curls but it's much more looser as you can see than the other ones Like, is 
you coming home, bitch, you out with her I don't care long as you care If I touch dirty, you hate it, then drop Flex, stop playing with Here we go uh, 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 uh. Take a little bit of oil on my hand put it on I am going to pat it into my hair and then I'm gonna create my little curls because I want it as I mentioned I wanted to want it heavy over here so I'm gonna take the rat tooth comb and I am just going to Pick it out. Uh -huh. So I am going to take a little bit of this sleek max edge control. And normally I don't do this, but um, I am just going to do it a little bit today. And I am just going to get these edges here really controlled. Again, I still take this for the edge. This is really going to just polish your style here. that this works best for me especially whenever i can't make those salon trips because i am busy throughout the week i do work a full-time job and then also my money a little a little low so i can't you know always go to the salon every time i need my hair done so this is definitely a more cost effective way to style your hair and it still looks really 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 nice so definitely try these tips and let me know how everything worked out for you um as i mentioned leave in the comment section down below if you want to see more videos like this also i am going to be giving y'all my nighttime routine very soon so stay tuned um i really hope you enjoyed this two-part series um on how i style and mold my hair leave me some comments down below so i can know what to do next for you guys and i will see you in my next video you got a girl Are you on me? Are you on me when you got a girl? Feeling this reckless I'm doing this selfish Knowing I'm desperate